headed to a runoff. It has been a contentious election with the biggest sticking point being the candidates being uh, among the candidates rather being how to handle the issues with the jail. That's right. Sheriff LaVon Allen and his challenger County Chairman Jeff Turner. They picked up the most votes. They will square off next month. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles sat down with both candidates to talk about the runoff and how they plan to tackle the problems at the Clayton County Jail. Clayton County residents get one more chance to make their voices heard as the decision on who is going to be the next sheriff after no candidate earned the majority of the vote on Tuesday night. Both candidates have different reactions. I'm very surprised. I might be in there by the skin of my teeth, but I am in there. I wasn't, I wasn't surprised. The only thing that, that was the issue was about voters on when and the time to vote. Sheriff LaVon Allen says he plans to pound the pavement to remind voters to get to the polls again as historically runoffs have low turnout. His opponent, Clayton County Board of Commissioners yeah, Chair Jeffrey said. Turner, says his goal is to remind voters why he feels he's the best candidate, such as his plan to address ongoing issues at the Clayton County Jail. It's being mismanaged. There's people getting hurt, killed. The budget is over. Allen defending his leadership, calling out Turner for not doing more as the county chair to make that happen. My opponent is in a position where he could have fixed it if that's what he wanted to do over the last uh, 16 years. Turner argues that the board wasn't getting the necessary information. He is correct about the brick and mortar of the sheriff's department, but the dilapidation and the deterioration of the county jail is something that has, be, has to be brought to our attention. I asked each candidate for three things they plan to address first if the runoff goes their way. Both candidates are focused on the jail. Turner says he wants to regain control, offer more training for officers, and address the budget, while Allen says he's focused on fixing jail locks, overcrowding, and upping staff. He says he just needs more time. This is not a position for someone who's in retirement. You need somebody that's going to stand in front of it and get it done. And I tell people, that's me. One thing both candidates can agree on is that no matter who wins, they are prepared to continue to work amicably together as county officials. In Jonesboro, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News. Well, still ahead at 530, voters will have to wait a little longer to find out who the next leader of DeKalb County will be. They will replace the current CEO, Michael Thurman, and our Erica Murphy. She will break down the candidates headed to a runoff coming up here in just about 30 minutes. And don't forget, we have all of the election results. They are up right now on 11alive.com. You can hear from many of the winners in these key races that we just mentioned. And for more in-depth analysis, you can catch the Georgia vote on 11 Alive Plus. 11 Alive's Zach Merchant and I will take you along for a political ride to co-host the Georgia vote together. That's every Sunday at 11. 11 a.m. after Meet the Press to hear conversations about the top issues Georgia voters care about.